Hey, 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 Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. This is dueling banjos. This is dueling banjos for the solo performer. So one person. For a duo, it is a different vibe and a different way of playing it. So this is for the solo performer. So without further ado. <laughs> So you get the idea. I didn't want to just keep playing and playing and playing. You get the idea. It starts out slow and it ramps up speed until it gets to a certain equilibrium. So what do we got going on here? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. Okay, I'm playing through a Roland cube. These strings are wound and they're electric. I'll show you those cube settings at the end of this video. So let's get an idea of what this song is. It's standard bluegrass 145 in G. What does that even mean? G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C. That dot right there, that is the four chord. C sharp and D. D there or D here is the five chord. So it's a three chord song. G, C, and D. Or G, C, and D. You will see me use both D chords. So the C chord is just a bar, B-A-R-R-E, on that fifth fret. So, five, five, five. D is a bar chord, B-A-R-R-E, on the seventh fret. Seven, seven, seven. Or, you can play this one here, which is a really nice chord to have. And that's 202. Two. And you're just putting your finger on this A, and you're also putting your finger here on this A. And you're letting that D string open, be open. So the idea is the song is in G and it goes. <laughs> Okay, so that's how the song goes. It's a typical bluegrass thing. So just a boom, chick -a 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 boom. Now, this is where it gets kind of interesting. It'll do a. And then just D. G, C, G, G, C, G. So it's always doing this G, C, G, or a C, G, C, depending on the little, the little parts. 
So I want you to see how that background works a little bit before we even get into playing this thing. So let's get into the notes we're playing. If you notice, I'm right here with my fingers just like so. My first finger will play any note that's in that fourth fret. So this one, this one, or this one. My second finger will play any note in this fret. Okay? So any note that's a C, any note that's a G, and any note that's a C, that finger is going to play. This finger is going to play only anything within this fret. So C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, anything in that fret, any time, that's the finger that does it, and my pinky will do the exact same thing here. Okay? So D, A, D, or anything in the seventh fret. So that's how my hand is going to work. And you want to do this. So if you have trouble stretching out your hand like so, I suggest you practice. Right? Practice doing this. If you want this song, this is key. Because this is a movable shape. So when I do this, that hand is going to move to my first finger on E. That way I don't have to hunt and peck or think about this pattern. The pattern is exactly the same here with my first finger on the fourth fret as it is with my first finger on the ninth fret. The pattern stays the same. Okay? The pattern is on the high G string four, five, seven, Four, five, D string, seven, four, five, seven. That's the pattern. That pattern will not change. When you move up to the key of C to here, same pattern. Okay? So I want you to know this, it's a shift. You're shifting from here to where your first finger is there, shifting here. Your hand doesn't care what notes it's playing. You're just shifting your hand. So. You could put it anywhere. doesn't matter where your hand is. You decide where your hand shifts. In this case, we're playing in G, which means our hand is here. Why? Because this is a G chord. D, G, B. That's the mental acrobats that uh, the... Um, you know, the trapeze runs that we're doing here. Except we have a G here, why not use it? So, just remember, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, four, five, seven. to E right here. C, G, C. G, C, G. And then we have a pattern that's totally different and it starts on the D string open. Two, four, open, two, So it's open two four open two open four it gets consecutively faster and faster with the so this little solo thing 
ramps up in speed, but it ramps up to that note. So practice getting to this D really quickly. B, C, D. So this is the note that, that throws it into overdrive. If you notice, I'm really picking hard. So out of these notes, so I've got one, two, three, four, five notes. So five into, uh, say, 100% is 20%, right? So each note gets 20%? No. This note gets 35% and the rest get the rest. And then when I shift up the same thing. bluegrass does a typical thing. We talked about this in the beginning of the lesson. There's a, there's a typical trick in bluegrass for guitar players that goes like so. You can add a harmonic to it. All that is is G open, 4, or 3, 4, open D, that E, open D again, open G. And that's a hammer on here. So in this song, you're picking back and forth. And you can hammer off there or pick it. quicker. G, C, G. G, C, G. C, G, C. G, C, G. D, D, D. G, C, G. G, C, G. G, C, G. G, C, G. to the strumming. So you're doing this four times. One, two, three, four. And you're going to that F note and then you go to that F note and straight into C. G. turns and it keeps going over and over and over. So it's a complicated song. Don't expect to get it right away, but do work on it. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing to play and to know how to play. You know, it's, it's just wonderful to play these types of things and we'll do some more bluegrass in the future. Thank you so much. This is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. I really appreciate it, everything you do for me, all your support. I do have a PayPal link here down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. A buck a show is all we ask. Thank you so much for everything. I do have a Facebook page, Cigar BX Blue. Thank you so much uh, for checking that out. These are my settings. So it's pretty pretty simple here. So uh, I'm gain is minimal, I'm on that Brit combo, and my tone is dimed, and I have very little reverb. So that's really all there is there. So thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really do appreciate it, and we'll see you again soon.